It is the first global research facility dedicated to one industry, the oil and gas industry, so that spans multiple GE businesses. And, and so what we'll do is we'll address the industry's most pressing problems. And, and that could be from how you drill or complete a well to how you produce a well, including the opportunities for data analytics in, in production data or drilling data or completion data, how we use, produce, dispose of water, opportunities for novel approaches like in carbon dioxide, which has many beneficial uses, or generally for looking at oil and gas and the energy system broadly. We've moved from what we thought was scarcity in energy to, to abundance, and that has its challenge that we have to do it right. We have to do it cheaper, better, smarter, faster, cleaner, safer, all of those things and the company's commitment to, to oil and gas is, is all of those. So reducing the amount of land, for example, it takes to drill a well is important. Reducing the amount of resources that it takes to drill that well. Reducing the cost that it takes so that these oil and gas producers can keep the cost of energy down. Reducing the amount of water that it takes to drill a well or complete a well or opportunities to, to reduce emissions, for example, in using natural gas to power vehicles or produce electricity, substantial reductions in, in, in atmospheric emissions. So one of the reasons for locating the center in Oklahoma City was the proximity to customers. So one of the things that we'll do is we'll bring them in, they'll have their own space, uh, collaborative rooms, opportunities, and not only within the office, but connected to the lab space that we have. And it will be a, a real opportunity for GE, with the proximity to its customers, to bring them in, have sessions, collaborative sessions, opportunities to share. We can work on their technology needs. So GE, in the global research, has a vast array of scientific technical skills. We will be at the Oil and Gas Technology Center more of an applications focus. So we'll actually connect those deep scientific expertise pools with application users. So I, I like to say we're going to hire a lot of engineers and scientists that know how to use things rather than people that know how to build things. So it'll be a perfect complement. To, to what exists now. So what's happened in the last 10 years is we've determined that there's a lot more oil and gas than we ever envisioned was possible. And so, so it now opens up access to energy to the rest of the globe that they've never had. Continents that haven't figured out this technology yet, they will. And that one third of the world's population today that doesn't have access to, to energy, they will get it. And making it better, making it cleaner, reducing its impact will be our challenge so that it protects the planet and improves lives along the way.